Well, if that's for me, I'm not here. <laughs> Got a couple of packages from some subscribers. Now, from the packages themselves, Ben can sort of tell what these things are, and he says these are trending. These things are hot right now. So we're just gonna open these couple things and see if I can figure out what they are. What is that? Wow, what? This is a strange thing. Okay, so it's, it's a triangle, but there are three circles in the points of the triangle. And there are wheels inside, or things that spin, yep, inside of all three pieces, and there's one piece back here that turns this. This is the weirdest thing. So can I hold this in my hands and do like that? And spin it? Yeah, I can. It goes fast, and it spins for a long time. So do you know what this is? Have you ever, have you heard about this? No, I don't think I have. So this is called a fidget spinner. <gasps> okay. Have you heard of that? No, I don't know this. They're really popular right now. There's a bunch of different kinds. There's like fake ones, real ones, better ones, cheap ones. They are being banned from schools because are kids are playing with them all the time and also getting hurt with them. Kids are getting hurt with these? Ye well, yeah, because they're being silly with them. Yeah. I don't quite know all the things that you could do with this thing, but and it's fun to just feel it go by. And I guess I couldn't really hurt myself by touching it as it spins around like that. No, that doesn't hurt. I feel like it's made of metal or plastic that's meant to feel like metal, but I would say this is some sort of metal, some kind of an alloy or something. Let's see what it smells like. So that will sort of tell me, you know, if it is metal or not. That's definitely made of metal, metal or steel. I mean, I'm enjoying it, but I don't quite know why yet. I don't feel like this thing's terribly colorful. It makes a bit of a noise as it spins. Not much, so it's very quiet. I'll give it a spin. I'll get it going pretty good and put it on the table. Oh. See, I like that. Let's see if you can hear this. Makes a little noise. I'd like this on a harder surface. How about against a piece of metal? Against a piece of metal, let's see what it sounds like. Gently, oh. Oh, I like that. That's fun. See, it makes a fun little noise like that on the, on the metal. Here we go. Now, uh, how about a glass? I, I will warn you this is dangerous. That's cool. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing. It's like having your own showcase showdown wheel. All right, Tommy, let's try uh, a piece of wood. This is actually a cutting board. Wow. <laughs> oh, I'd have been in trouble if I had this in school. I'd have just been making noise all day with it. Now we tried a glass before. How about three different glasses with three different amounts of liquid? So maybe we'll be able to play a song or something like this. Or I'm gonna take a bath. I can't believe you're gonna drink out of these again. <laughs> That's how to play them. Yeah, that's cool. This is gonna be crazy, but let's see what happens when I spin it and touch an egg while it's going. Oh. Not too bad. Oh, I cracked one. Yeah, let's move that egg to the bottom and put the okay. fresh egg at top. <laughs> Try this. Spin it and drop it into the bowl. <laughs> this thing is a mess. Now we gotta clean it off. So Ben's got us a bowl of water now. So we'll give it a spin and we'll just drop it in the water. Oh. <laughs> now can I just, I just wanna see what would happen if I just touch the water with it while it spins. <laughs> that makes a great sound. <laughs> oh, I love this. Now I think it's clean. Should we get some cake batter next? That's a big giant bowl of Bisquick. Oh. Let's try again. I'm going to spin it high and just dump, drop it in this time and see what she does. 
And that seems to be going pretty good. <laughs> Alright, dig in there, get it. I gotta dig in and get it. Oh jeez, look at this stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> wow! This is the weirdest stuff I've ever... Wow, it's so weird. Oh, it's so heavy. Oh, it don't turn. It does not turn. Well, listen. <laughs> Let that be a lesson to you, kids. Don't put your fidget spinner in Bisquick, because it don't work. We interrupt this YouTube video for a special announcement. We've got some brand new merchandise available, and it's stuff you've wanted for a long time. Remember the drawings that I did? For the next seven days, they are available on t-shirts and stickers, and international orders are accepted too. So there's a link right there for teespring.com, you can find it in the description. And what this does is it helps us to be able to make more of the videos and the stuff that you like to see. We now return to our YouTube video already in progress. Okay, this guy, what's this? Okay, it's a cube with, um, a wow, there's a little switch on it. Is there a light in here? Let's see, I flick the switch, and oh look, there's lights over here. I can't really tell what it is. It's got some wheels on it, it's got the switch, and I feel like these are lights here, these five lights. So this is called a fidget cube, and it's just got all these buttons and shapes and clicks and things like that that you can fidget with. Wow, so you can just do like this and, and turn this back and forth and flick. This is crazy. So in, and now it doesn't light up or anything, it just does all these, I guess, can you put, you can push all those, wow. This is so tactile, this is a great little thing and there's all kinds of buttons and things to push and turn. It's very, oh and this pulls out a little bit, I guess there's a magnet. This is a very strange thing. I don't know how I like this. I almost feel like there's too much stuff happening on it. Like this is sort of reminds me of, there's things here that remind me of like an old combination lock. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I, I, I think I like the other one better. Now, can you, are there tricks and things you can do with this? I didn't see too many come up. There were odd ones. There, there were more of taking it apart. It's more like if you're sitting there watching TV, you can sit there and just sort of fidget with it, play with it. See, this is one of those things that I really don't know that sighted people or that people just do is that they fidget. You know, if people fidget quietly, I would never know it. Some people don't they draw or do it, like my mother, for example. She used to talk on the phone and I'd just hear this writing sound all the time. I never understood what it was until <laughs> years later I asked her about it and she told me that's what she does. Which side do you like the most? I like the rocker switch a lot. Every time I throw a switch like this, I feel like something is going to happen. And it's odd that something doesn't happen when I do this. Like I feel like when I throw that, this part here with nothing on it ought to light up. What does it smell like? Well, it just sort of smells like, like metal and rubber. Wow. I'm not gonna tell you what it tastes like. <laughs> I don't know where this thing has been. So if you were to give the fidget spinner a rating, the first one, mm -hmm. what kind of rating would you, would you give it? Wow, from one to 10, I think I would give that a solid nine. It's neat and it feels good in your hand and it, it spins like crazy and there's other things you can do with it and you can make noise with it. So yeah, I'm gonna give that a nine. And what about the fidget cube? Uh, you know what, it's fun but I don't think it's nearly as much fun as a fidget spinner. I'd probably give this about a six and a half. And I don't know, I don't think it's as much fun as a fidget spinner. I think that thing is a little bit more fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss when a new video is coming out. Also, you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you for your support.